Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Safari LTD Dino Kyrus. Dino Kyrus means terrible hand, and it was an ornithomimosaur dinosaur, and it was very unusual for its family because it was extremely large, and it was named that after the fossils found of only its arms. So they, of course, had to name it after the massive hands and arms that they'd found and didn't later, uh, because they didn't have a full skeleton basically. It lived in Mongolia, specifically the Nemect Formation, during the late Cretaceous 70 million years ago. Okay, well first of all it looks just like a spoonbill bird and I love it. It looks just like a massive duck and I think this was sculpted by Doug Watson and oh my goodness it is wonderful what a what a, a lovely figure it's just such a lovely figure it looks just like a modern bird and it's it, it's it's basically just a giant spoonbill there we go I'll show you the other side of it I love the coloration this very light brown kind of an orange color contrasted with the white if my camera will focus there we go I love when Safari puts white on their figures they just it just looks amazing they do such a great job with the colors most of the time and here if we look take a close look at the head it's a very fluffy neck and we've actually got a throat pouch here and this bright yellow bill nostrils carved in very nice, we've got pink eyeliner going on with brown eyes in there. Love the white on the head, the throat pouch is such a nice touch. I think it's very likely that Dinochirus would have had a throat pouch, so it's greatly appreciated. The very distinct hump of Dinochirus, we don't know what it would have used it for, possibly for fat reserves. It may have actually been for attracting mates, but we don't know. And the stripes on the leg and the back, or on over the shoulders, I should say. And of course, the signature arms of Dinochirus have been done perfectly. The primary feathers here, all feathering, and then the hands themselves. Look at the detail of the scales. They've got bare fingers. I think they have been sculpted wonderfully. Black claws. First claws, the largest, as is typical with a lot of theropods. Oh, and then this one, it, it seems to be the second one that's larger. Interesting, I've only just noticed that. White underside, the feet as well, no dew claw. And I believe that is correct for Dinochirus. Very nice attention to detail. I love the coloration and the feather detail all over the body is just incredible. The white stripes going down the tail as well just wonderful and I love this nice little tail tuft at the end right on the tip wonderful attention to detail my camera will focus on it look at that brilliantly sculpted absolutely magnificent I feel like this is one of the more maybe not underrated so much but I feel like this figure Considering how amazing Safari's 2017 line of figures was, I feel this is the one that doesn't quite get as much attention as the other ones, but is still highly praised. It's just interesting. Maybe it's because it's such an obscure species as well that's been getting fair enough more attention recently. But I feel this one gets a bit overshadowed by some of the others, and it's kind of a shame because it is accuracy pretty much flawless, and the coloration's wonderful. The, uh, just everything about it, the detail, we should have a look at the feet as well, it just look just like bird feet, the, the head, spot on, I like how chubby it is, like I said, the, the throat pouch is such a lovely touch, absolutely love it, and the pose is so natural and dynamic, absolutely, just it's just wonderful, I absolutely adore this figure. Now in terms of the size, you're looking at about, uh, let's say, 20 centimeters long, so it's fairly good size. And then in terms of the height, 
just about um, nine and a half centimeters tall at the top of the head. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say about this figure. If you would like this, go to everythingdinosaur.com. Service is fantastic. And trust me, you will not be disappointed with this figure. It is absolutely gorgeous. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.